Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the hyperbola. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we answered numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now for the part 2, we answered number 5. So feel free to see the link of the description down below with regards to the part 1 and part 2 of our video. Once again, class, in the part 3, we will be answering number 6, this one. So 4x squared minus 9y squared plus 32x minus 90y minus 197 equals 0. So if we still have enough time, class, we will be answering number 7. And for number 7, class, this will be quite complicated since we have large numbers. So once again, if we have time, we will be answering number 7. If not, so we will be answering number 7 on the part 4 of our video. Alright, so let's answer number 6. Now, once again, do not forget the standard form of the hyperbola. This will be the equation. So, we have quantity x minus h squared over a squared minus quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Or you can have this equation class. So, always remember that your a is always on the left side of this equation. So, check class a is always on the positive quadratic term. Alright, so let's start with number 1. Now, always remember this one class that the positive quadratic term should always come first before the negative quadratic term. Once again class, the positive quadratic term, we call it quadratic term when the highest exponent of the variable is 2. So we have x squared and y squared, so these are quadratic terms. Now, the positive quadratic term should always come first before the negative one. So therefore, this 4x comes first before this negative y squared. So copy 4x squared. Now you need to arrange class. You separate the x variables and the y variables. So 4x squared, next will be positive 32x. Then followed by, so we don't have x, we have x squared and x. Next will be this y, negative 9y squared minus 90y then you transpose this negative 197 from left to right so this is negative once you transfer an equation from this equal sign you change the sign so this will be positive 197 all right so next step plus is we will do the completing the square but before that you check first if you can factor the equation for x class can we factor this out for x can we factor this out by 4 yep we can factor this out by 4 but mostly class to factor this out just simply copy what number okay the number before the quadratic term now the number before x squared is 4 therefore you factor this out by 4 okay so that's the thing that you will do class mostly you just, you just factor it out by the number before this quadratic term now since this is 4 therefore we factor it out, it out by 4 so factor this out by 4. Once again, class, just simply factor out the number. Do not include the variable class, only the number. So can we factor this out by 4? Yup. We can factor this out by 4 because we can divide 4 by 4. We can also divide 32 by 4. So 4x squared, you divide plus 4x squared divided by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. x squared divided by none. Simply copy x squared. So 1x squared or x squared. Alright, and then you divide 32x by 4. So 32x divided by 4. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. x divided by none, simply copy x. Alright, plus 8x. And then you put a space class because we will do the completing the square for x. So put a space. So you can also check your answer class if you factor it out correctly by the servitive property. So 4 times x, that would be 4x squared. Oh, sorry, 4 times x squared, that would be 4x squared. 4 times positive 8x, that's positive 32x. Alright, and then once again, can we factor this out? The 9, the y by 9? Yep, we can factor this out by negative 9. Once again, just simply copy the number before y squared. So this is negative 9, you copy negative 9. 
Alright, and then factor this out, you put parentheses, then you divide plus. So once again, you factor this out by negative 9. We can divide negative 9 by negative 9. We can also divide negative 90 by negative 9. So divide negative 9y squared divided by negative 9. So negative 9 divided by negative 9, that's positive 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. 9 divided by 9 is 1. y squared divided by none. Copy y squared. Okay, 1y squared or y squared. That's the same plus. Understood that there's one here. So, y squared. Alright, and then negative 90y divided by negative 9. Negative 90y divided by negative 9. Negative 90 divided by negative 9. Okay, negative divided by negative is positive. 90 divided by 9, that's 10. Then, copy y y divided by none, simply copy y. Alright, so 10y, positive 10y. Then you put a space because we need to do the completing the square. Then equals 197. Alright, so you can also check if you if factor it out correctly. So let's multiply negative 9 times y squared. That's negative 9y squared. Negative 9 times positive 10y. So negative times positive is negative. 9 times 10 is 90. Copy y. Negative 90y. So therefore you factor it out correctly. Alright, so let me copy again the equation plus. So this will be our equation. We don't have enough space here because we need to add a new number here later on. So let me copy the equation first. 4, then x squared plus 8x. Okay, minus 9, then y squared plus 10y plus equals 197. Alright, so to add the new number here, we need to do the completing the square. And what would be the formula, sir? The formula, that would be b over 2 quantity squared. So your b class is beside the linear term, beside x. Beside this x class, the linear term. So your b is 8. So 8. Divided by 2, quantity squared. So 8 divided by 2, that is 4, quantity squared. So 4 squared plus, it means you multiply 4 by itself twice. So 4 times 4, that would be 16. So therefore, you will add 16 here, coming from this formula class, to complete this equation. And once you do the completing the square, this is a perfect square trinomial. And we will be adding 16. Okay, so once again, b, b divided by 2, quantity squared. Our b is beside x. 8. So 8 divided by 2, that is 4 squared. 4 times 4 is 16. Now, be careful with this one class. You, once you add a number on the left side, you also do that on the right side, right? If you still remember that one in the circle, parabola ellipse, once you add a number on the, right, on the left side, you also do that on the right side. But be careful with this one class. Because we will not add 16 on the right side. Okay, why is that, sir? Because this is not our original equation. We factor this out by 4. Okay, remember this one? We factor this equation by 4. Therefore, the thing that we will be adding, it, that would be the product of 4 and 16. You need to multiply this one first, and that will be the number that you will be adding. Always remember that one class. If there's no 4 here, if we didn't factor it out by 4, once you get 16, go ahead plus. You add it by 16 on the right side of the equal sign. Now, since we factored it out by 4, therefore, the thing that we will be adding, that will be the product of 4 and 16. Alright, so I hope you got that one. So next, we need to add a new number here. And what will be that number? Once again, we do have the formula b over 2 quantity squared. And our b for the y squared and y that would be beside y, the linear term. y with exponent of 1. So our b is 10. So 10 divided by 2, quantity squared. So 10 divided by 2, quantity squared. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, then squared. So 5 squared, it means you multiply 5 by itself twice. So 5 times 5, that is 25. So this will be plus 25. Alright, and then... So, once again, do not add 25 directly on the right side. You need to get the product of this number that you factor out and 25. So, that would be plus 
Okay, negative 9. This is negative 9 plus, do not forget, negative 9 times 25. So we don't have enough sp space class. So this will be, okay, let me write it again, 197. So, plus 10y plus 25 equals 197 plus the product of 4 and 16 plus the product of negative 9 times 25. Okay, I hope you got that one class. So, this will be, so copy 4. Once again, this is a perfect square trinomial. We make it into square of binomial. How to do that one, sir? Just simply get the square root of the first term, the square root of x squared, that is x. And then get the square root of the last term, the square root of 16, that is 4. You copy the sign of the middle term, plus you put quantity, you put parenthesis, then squared. That's it, plus. This is actually the same. x plus 4, quantity squared, is the same with this x squared plus 8x plus 16. Once you do the completing the square, this is a perfect square trinomial, and we make it into square of binomial by getting the square root of the first term, the square root of x squared is x. A square root of the last term, square root of 16 is 4. Copy the sign of the middle term. You put quantity, then squared. Even if we check this one plus, x plus 4, quantity squared, it means x plus 4 times x plus 4, right? You multiply this equation by itself twice. So we do the FOIL method. Let's check if we really get the same answer by this one. So first, x times x, that would be x squared, outer x times positive 4, that's positive 4x, inner, 4 times x, that's positive 4x, last, 4 times positive 4, that's positive 16. Then combine like terms, this will be x squared, 4x and 4x, so if they have the same literal coefficient, add the number, 4 plus 4 is 8, then copy x plus 16. You will get the same answer plus. So that's why, it will take time if you do the factoring. Just simply get the square root plus. Square root of the first term, square root of the last term, copy the sign of the middle term, then you put quantity. So this will be minus 9. And then you get the square root of the first term. Once again, we make it into square or binomial. Get the square root of y squared, that is y. The square root of 25, square root of 25, that is 5. Then you copy the sign of the middle term, copy plus sign, you put quantity, then squared. This is the same plus. Easy as easy, right? And then equals, so copy 197, you multiply this one, 4 times 16, that would be 64, plus 64. Then negative 9 times 25, so this will be plus negative 9 times 25, so 25 times... 9. So, of course, negative times positive, your answer will be negative. So, 9 times 5 is 45. 5, carry 4. 9 times 2, that is 18, plus 4, that is 22. Let me check plus. 9 times 5, 45. 5, carry 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4, 22. 225. So, plus negative 225. So, this will be negative times positive is negative 2 to 5. And this will be 4, quantity x plus 4, squared minus 9, quantity y plus 5, squared equals, okay, 197 plus 64. Then, positive times negative, this will be negative 2 to 5. So, you add plus, you add this one, then subtract it by 2 to 5. So, let's add 197 plus 64, this will be 7 plus 4, that is 11, 1, carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 6, 16, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 261. So, this will be 4, quantity x plus 4, squared, minus 9, then y plus 5, squared, equals, so 9, 197 plus 64, that's 261, then we subtract it by 225, 225 plus, 225. So let's subtract, okay, minus 225. 
so this will be okay don't have enough space so 261 minus 225 so this will be borrow one this will be five and this will be 11 11 minus 5 is 6 5 minus 2 is 3 36 class so once again 197 plus 64 that's 261 261 minus 225 that is 36 so this will be 36 all right so almost done so let's check class i hope you see this one 4 quantity x plus 4 squared minus 9 quantity y plus 5 squared of equals 36 so this will be i will be raising the top part class so let me copy the equation class 4 x plus 4 squared minus 9 y plus 5 squared equals 36 now since our equation that is equals to 1 on the right side okay so this will be our equation class since we have our x quadratic term comes first before y so this will be our equation now since this is equals to 1 therefore we need to divide the equation by 36 because 36 divided by 36 that's equals to 1 so divide by 36 divide by 36 divide by 36 all right so let me raise this part last i hope you're still with me so this will be can we divide 4 by 36 nope 4 divided by 36 that cannot be but can we reduce can we find can we reduce this fraction into lowest term yep we can divide 4 by 4 we can also divide 36 by 4 so once again 4 over 36 we cannot divide we get a decimal answer but we can reduce this one to the lowest term by what number sir we can divide it by 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 36 divided by 4 is 9 so we can reduce this one by 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 36 divided by 4 is 9 all right same with this one can we reduce 9 and 36 yep we can reduce 9 and 36 by 9 right 9 divided by 9 is 1 36 divided by 9 is 4 so therefore our final answer will be x plus 4 squared just ignore one class understood that there's one here in every parenthesis understood that there's one so instead of 36 we reduce it by 9 36 divided by 4 is 9 9 minus so just ignore one minus y plus 5 squared over 4 equals 36 divided by 36 is 1 that's it class all set for number 6 now if the teacher will ask you to find the vertex go ahead let's find the vertex h and k so your vertex class your h is always beside x so this is positive 4 you get the additive inverse it will be negative 4 and your k is always beside y if this is positive 5 you get the additive inverse your k will be negative 5 if this is positive you get the additive inverse it will be negative class negative 4 negative 5 and your a so a squared is equals to your a is always on the left side of this equation class your a is always on the positive quadratic term this will be negative quadratic term this will be positive so your a is equals to 9 get the square root of 9 struct square root both sides so your a is square root of 9 is 3 all right and your b this one b squared is equals to 4 get the square root extract square root both sides so your b is square root of 4 that is 2 that's it class all set for number 6 all right so i hope you learned something new today class do not forget to like share and subscribe you share to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students once again this is teacher mj you have a great day class do not forget the last part of our video it will be part 4 class so i do apologize if we take a lot of time because we need to explain this one step by step so the part 4 class this will be number 7 this will be quite tricky class for the part 4 because these are large numbers all right so once again this is teacher mj have a great day Bye bye